Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Sun and Fun 2013. If you ride motorcycles and you fly airplanes, you may sometimes find yourself lusting after the kind of technological innovations that we see in the motorcycle industry. Well, a company behind me called MW Fly, they're an Italian company, has leveraged some of that technology into small four-cylinder engines for the aircraft industry, mainly experimental, and they're hoping to make some inroads in the U.S. This is the first time they've shown in the U.S. So let's take a look at some of these engines with uh, Guido Fantini of MW Fly. MW Fly uh, was born, was founded in uh, uh, 1995 and uh, is an engineering company uh, that can work uh, that work uh, with uh, the main uh, manufacturer in uh, involved in car developing and motorcycle developing we have uh, actually we have produced 75 engines we start production at the beginning of uh, 2011 and uh, uh, so this is our first time in US so this is the occasion, the occasion to present our new engine and this is called uh, B22. Uh, we have uh, power uh, from uh, 115 horsepower to 150 horsepower with the same core and the same weight and same dimensions. Our engine adopts a gearbox uh, to obtain uh, big power, high power with low propeller RPM. This is an advantage for noise uh, and for efficiency of uh, traction. And a problem with gear the engine is uh, absorb the torsional vibration on, on propeller axis. Normally you find on uh, the um, gear the engine a clutch or a dog hub on propeller axis but with this displacement and uh, so we have another philosophy uh, we follow the principle to reduce uh, the torsional vibration not to absorb the torsional vibration so our system consists uh, in changing the compression ratio we do that uh, varying uh, pos the position of this pin by hydraulic pressure. And you have to imagine as a um, principle that uh, this pin push on tapper of uh, valve when the piston comes up for compression. So the effectiveness uh, of uh, stroke is on half the normal the compression stroke is has reduced on half. And that's why we have in power set, in power set 10.5 to 1 of compression ratio and in idle set 5.5 to 1 of compression ratio. So by gear we move a secondary shaft and the ratio is a 1 to 1.66 and the secondary shaft uh, moves the uh, chain for timing. This is uh, an advantage because the uh, total number of cycle, of work cycle of the chain has reduced and we can uh, improve the life of the chain. We use actually one injector per two cylinder with a special strategy uh, improved by MW Fly uh, it consists in changing the injection phase uh, during the motion of the pistons. And that's why we can have only one injector per two cylinder. And uh, so this is an advantage, uh, an advantage for uh, simplicity and reliability. The engine is fully water cooled. Uh, that means that uh, you only have to worry about the flow in the water radiator. You don't have to install any duct for uh, uh, cylinder cooling, and this is a big advantage. And you also have not to install 
oil cooler because we use uh, a composite crankshaft uh, with ball bearings and needle bearings for connecting rod. So the oil pressure is very low. We work uh, uh, almost uh, at uh, tw 28 psi, below 28 psi, and uh, also uh, don't, uh, don't having a uh, plain bearing, uh, the, the work for oil is very low. So there is no oil heating, and this is the reason why we have no oil cooler, we don't need an oil cooler. Also on a helicopter application, we had never have mounted oil cooler.